She was Jill Crawford when she hit the softball field in second base for Chattanooga State back in the years of 1999 and 2000. Today, she's Jill Higdon. There you go. And that's about the biggest change in her life. No need to rush. Because even to this day, Jill has a glove, softball, and bat always in her hand. Now teaching young women a game that connects with everyday life. Yeah, but you know, you, we kind of use math all the time. Like, this is all physics. Like, her foundation is called Connect Leadership. And it's actually a character building program. Um, all the kids, we have volunteers come in, and they are to help the girls with their confidence. Uh, both on and off the softball field. And it's been great, so much fun. <laughs> These girls want a chance, like you, to get a scholarship in college. They want to play in college, possibly, but really there are so many lessons that are learned through softball training and on the softball field that we're really trying to get into. What are you hearing back from some of these kids? It's the face that they make whenever they get something, whenever they learn a new skill, is totally priceless. So these are life skills while playing softball? Correct. So like, give me an example. Well, my favorite example is I have a volunteer that works and she's a really quiet senior at Ringgold. Her name's Amy Davidson. And she's running the classes right now. And she went from being super quiet to very assertive. And she comes in now and she's running. She's confident in what she's teaching. The kids love her. She knows all their names. They know her name. It's, it's been cool to see her grow. Team sports are very important in life. Very. They teach you so many lessons with dealing with different um, personalities, different talent level. I mean, we have girls in there who cannot catch and um, girls in there who are going to play at a high level in college and to figure out how to work together is really important. Jill once played for LSU right out of high school. But due to an injury, she was redshirted. And on her coach's recommendation, he said, what about playing at Chattanooga State with my friend and coach, Frank Reed? She did just that. By the way, her senior year in high school, well, Jill was ready to just give up the sport altogether. I was just going to go to LSU and figure life out out of high school. So I didn't have these, like, I didn't, like, go on a ton of visits, and that wasn't my story. I, I didn't, like, decide on Chat State. Like, LSU didn't work out softball-wise. I came to Chattanooga to kind of give it a shot on a recruiting visit, and I was like, this place is amazing. She finished Chat State and headed back to LSU. But like we hear all the time from athletes, there's something of a magnetic pull to Chattanooga. And she was back playing, this time, at UTC under Coach Reed again. Well, you can forget Jill not ever playing the game again, because now she and her husband are on a different type of playing field. And their players are extremely gifted. High five, hey. She actually runs two programs. The other one is called Fury Platinum. And these young women are college-bound players. You know, every child should have the opportunity to play, compete, and enjoy sports. Thanks to Jill, that's all part of her game plan every single day.